How's it going guys? My name is Gamma Fox and welcome back to the confirmed final episode of Blank Dream. Now, before we get the best ending, there actually, actually, there is a secret in this place down here. The one that I was struggling to find out what to do when actually I had solved it in the first place. I just didn't realise it. But what you have to do is we'll just go back down here first. You have to use that sword on it and then go in the room. Because if you go in the room when you play side of the portrait or there's nothing in there, you die. But, and I placed a sword on there um, in the last episode, with, and I just left, I, and I didn't think I could enter. But you place that there, and now, we can go in. Voila! I found that out, by the way, too, I just decided to do it. And, this is someone else's mirror, and I'm guessing that is Utsuro, I'm not sure. Because when I found this, I'm like, oh, I need to save this and record it for you guys, obviously. Because after this, we're going to do the best ending, which I also found out how to do, so we'll, we'll do this first. And it looks like Utsuro. I'm not going to make any assumptions. This mirror shows someone else's re someone's reflection. It's certainly not her, yet Mashiro felt she could see in. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, brighten up. 13 years ago. Ooh, and in. Okay. Oh. All that talk about taking a trip together. So this was your goal. Trips are necessary for resting your body and mind, you know. All the kids seem to have fun today, too. They're snoozing away now. A good thing for you, isn't it? Dot, dot, dot. So, Tamaki, won't you consider it Tamaki? Drop it, please. Utsuro is my child. But Seiichi has told me how you've been seeing the shadow of your father in Utsuro lately. Oh. Seiichi, you told him that? Sorry, but you look, you've looked so frayed lately. He knows the situation, so I thought you, I should talk... To I, th I thought bleh, bleh. I just thought I should talk to him about it. Tamaki, the biggest load on your mind, it's art, isn't it? Utsura is eight now. From now on, she's going to be drawing it more at school. How about leaving Utsura with your mother until she's old enough to take this calmly? Oh, wait. Does does, does Utsura not know that she's the son of Rinzu? That's the thing. Or does, does Utsura not know that? Her mum and her dad, uh, mum and, mum and, uh, daughter and father, that's kind of creepy. It'll be fine, if I, her mother, can't protect her, then her will. I suppose you're right, Tamaki, but it feels like you'll collapse at this rate. What will happen to Ayato, then? Yeah, they're brother and sister, aren't they, Utsuro and Ayato? Hmm. Nobody's perfect, you don't need to carry everything alone. Especially considering your burdens are much heavier than most. But still... I want to hold out. I don't want. To, I don't want to break up. Break up this family of four. Tamaki, Shinji, Chika. I'll support Tamaki as much as I can. Let me try just a little longer. Seiichi, if the two of you insist, then I won't stop you. But just keep in mind, Tamaki, you've already put in plenty of toil. So at least stop before it does you in. Right. Oh. So who's Meryl? Was that? It can't be- that doesn't look like Tamaki. That looks like Utsuro. Da da da. Though it was unclear, clear, Mashiro looked into the mirror. She could tell it was not her mirror, and yet... Ooh. It's someone's mirror. That looks like Utsuro. Mmm, okay. So yeah, that's- that's secret. That's a- that's got nothing to do with the ending. That's- that's- that's weird. Maybe it will impact the ending. I don't know. I thought it didn't, because... I figured out how to get the best ending. I'll tell you guys in a minute. And that was... And that didn't... It didn't have anything to do with that. Maybe that does affect... I don't know. I haven't looked it up or anything, so I can't be sure. Maybe that does affect it. Hmm... Okay, but this is how you get the good ending. To get the best ending, not the good ending, the best ending, you have to do both of their mirrors, both of um, Utsuro and Ryotaro's mirrors, but not go through the final doors at the back. That's what you got to do. So, whoops, wrong room. Go back over here. But, 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 there we go. Okay, so I got to look into his mirror, then not go into the room above. We have to go back down, then I have to go do, um, Yuzu's mirror. So we go in here. Ka-chunk, ka-chunk, ka-chunk. Cool, but I'm going to save it just in case. So I'll show you guys what I mean. So we do the mirror first. So I'm going to skip into this over because you guys have already seen this. So I'll be right back soon, guys. Okay, we're back. And that's um, Rio Taro's mirror gone. I just skipped through it pretty much because you guys have already seen it. And I've already seen it. We don't know what it's about. He dies in the fire next year if you didn't, if you, want to re if you want me to remind you. So yeah. So now we skip all this. So then the mirror disappears, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay. We don't go into that room. What we do instead is we go back. I'm going to save it, actually. 
I'm going to save it over this one, just in case. Just in case I'm wrong, because this, this worked last time when I tested it, I'm pretty sure. Um, so now we go and do Yuzu's um, place. I hope this works. I remember it working last time, like, oh, this has to be how you get the best ending, you do both of the characters and such. I, I could be wrong, but hopefully I'm right, because it seems to make sense. Okay, so now we go to uh, where Yuzu's mirror was, which is this way, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we go down here, and then we go down here. It's, 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 it's the same place as before, so you guys know how to oops, try to dodge, epic dodge all these places here. So now we go down here, yeah, and we should be able to open this door. It, did, it worked last time, or maybe... Aha! Yes, so it does work. Okay, cool. So now I can do both of them, because when you look at the... um. When you talk to either Tamaki or Rinzu, that triggers the doors to lock. So now, if I can go get Yuzu, then I can check her. That means I'll get both the mirrors done, you know? And the, both the doors are now unlocked. So that means I can do both, I can save both of them, which will trigger the best ending. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love logic. Gotta love logic, it makes sense. Okay, cool. So now we'll go grab Yuzu. And Yuzu, our little darling Yuzu, can get her wish fulfilled, just the same as Ryotaro. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. You're going to come with me, girl. And we're going to go get your mirror, girl. And I'll be right back until we have gotten all that sorted, guys. Okay, so now we've done user's mirror. So now we can check both uh, check both up on uh, Rinzu and Tamaki. Hopefully, that's what I'm guessing since both doors are unlocked now. Cool. So now we're going to go check up on uh, Rinzu. Is it Rinzu or Tamaki? Oh, this, this one's Tamaki, right? Okay. So now we're going to check up on... Uh, blah, 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 blah. We're going to check up on um, Tamaki. And then we'll check up on Rinzu. Since we can do both of them, that means both Yuzu and Ryotaro's wishes will be fulfilled. They'll both be saved. So that's good. We're gonna I'm gonna skip this for you guys because you already sent before. You don't wanna get you don't wanna see me get all teary up about it again. <laughs> so yeah, I'll be right back soon, guys. Okay, we just talked to Tamaki. Okay. So now we're gonna get ported back to the middle the the central place now, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So now this is why I don't know. Should we talk to, to Yuzu first, or do Ryotaro's thing first? I'm gonna save it, obviously. I'm pretty sure I should do uh, Ryotaro's thingy first, so we're gonna go do that. We're gonna go check out Rinzu this time. And please work. Holy crap, this needs to work. Otherwise, I would have just been fooling myself on Because like, I, when, how I figured this out is I could do... I, I did Ryotaro's mirror, and um, and then I left, and I checked Yuzu's mirror. I'm like, oh, so I can do both of them, so that's why I think so. Please work. Please work. Please work. Yes! Okay, I'm right. Fantastic. Okay, cool. Good, good, good. Okay, so now we're going to do Rinzu. Ah, see, that makes sense. So this is obviously how you get the best ending, yeah. I don't know if that secret thing influences it. Or maybe that secret thing caused me to be able to do this? I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm going to skip this again to you guys. Another, another sad scene. <laughs> Okay, so now that that's done, now we can save both Ryo Taro and Yuzu. So yes, this is going all according to plan. Now they're both standing there. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, cool. This is what I expected to happen. Okay, so now, this is the problem though. Because what I don't get is, you, you guys remember when we get the, go the good innings? Each time when both of them talked, the other the other person had something to say, I'm pretty sure. Like when Yuzu was talking, Ryo Taro says, I'm not sure. Does it matter which one I talk to first? Because this could change it. Maybe I just talk to them and it's good. I don't know, okay, we'll try your attire first, okay. You think, okay, I had no trouble with the, okay. Wait, wait, what? Oh, do you not? Oh, oh, do they just come with us? Oh, okay, I'm gonna save it again, even though I don't, even though I don't need to. Okay, this is interesting. Because they're actually not saved, they're just coming with me. Oh, oh, so it did open, this is different. Now the path that you should, now for the path for you to take is clear. You just ended up saving our butts this whole time, huh, Mishiro? Without you, I doubt we would have found any mirrors. You, in fact, you have the right to know. In fact, I want you to know. I need to talk to you. I know a thing or two about your parents. I need to tell you some things too. Oh, so now they talk to us, but they both talk to us. Okay. About what I, about who I am and why I'm here. About, t about Tamaki's daughter. Wait. Oh. Who's this? Get out. S stop. Don't meddle anymore. As Utsuro, give back my world. Run you two through the door. Oh, that's Utsuro. So now, oh, oh, oh. Okay, this is new. Oh shit. Well, it's chasing us. We'll talk later. Just run somewhere you can hide. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. God, 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 God. Okay, I gotta run. I gotta run. Where do I go though? Oh shit. Do I just keep running? Okay. I hope that was on the secret. I, I missed. I didn't miss the secret there, did I? It's gonna affect the ending. 
I hope not. Mm, to don't make a guy going on, on 30 run for it, I'm gonna die. Oh god. Looks like we've gotten away from now. Okay. Okay. No, no, wait, no, I didn't get an option. No. Oh shit. Wait, can I, wait, no, was it, can I listen to him? Okay, okay, we're, okay, there's no other option, so obviously we're gonna listen to you, Yuzu. Okay, let's get started. Oh, so now we get their wishes, right? Oh, this is all new. Oh. I like this. Okay. Phew, are we safe here? I don't sense her chasing anymore. What in the world was that? I'm about to explain that. I know who that is. Say what? I'm Yuzu Hanasaki, a middle schooler who committed suicide at 15 at Mirror Lake. The reason I killed myself was, to put it bluntly, I met a girl I loved. Someone had killed her at Mirror Lake. It made me extremely sad. No, didn't Utsuro commit suicide? Or did someone actually kill Utsuro? That's the thing. Mm. So I read all these books and, and on black magic, and killed myself to go to the afterlife. To die at the same place, exactly a year later, it said that would work. I think it's different afterlife than what the book meant, but ultimately I came to this world. But it seems that there was something to be gained here. That girl, she always said she was someone who shouldn't have existed. I always found it weird, and wondered why it was, but I found out now. She was born between a girl and her own father, between Tamaki Hinohara and Rinzu Usui. Yeah, was, ugh. Her very birth was taboo. Yeah, this is the same stuff as um, the good ending, so we don't really have to read this. But I'm gonna, oh, just to make sure, yeah, because before, um, Utsuro popped up and Yuzu blocked um, her from attacking uh, Utsuro, uh, not Utsuro, Mashiro, sorry. So maybe uh, I've actually skipped something. I need to talk to Utsuro more directly. No, this is the same as before. Give it back. Here we go. This is where it's different. Give it back. That voice. Let's get moving. We can't have a chat now, so run. Okay. Who filth who wishes me fulfilled because she hasn't met Utsuro yet because that was her wish, wasn't it? Do I keep walking? Okay, okay, yeah. Say it again. Okay. Utsuro, okay. What do you say? Okay, do we just keep going? Okay, I gotta keep running. Gotta keep running. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Gotta escape Utsuro. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that was close. I nearly screwed up big time there. Okay. Okay, save point every time. Okay, so now, Rio Chara is gonna talk to us. Uh, I'm reaching my limits. Let me rest a little. Okay. And there's a big door behind him. I just realized that. She's really stubborn, isn't she? If it were me, I'd have thrown in, in the towel after all that chasing. Okay, listen to Rio Chara. Got it. All right, let's begin. Now, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the same as before. So I'll be right back, unless it's something different, guys. So I'll see you soon. Yeah, this is the same stuff, guys. This is the same stuff. It's the same text as it was um, when we were doing Rio Taro's good ending. Just, I'm going to make sure I'm not missing anything here, because I don't want to leave anything out for you guys, and myself, because this is really important. And thus it's been granted. Oh! Yeah, this is the same, yeah, because he got his wish granted by meeting Utsuro. Uh, not Utsuro, I'm getting... Mashiro, I'm getting the manga's names mixed up now. Okay. Yeah, so he's going to fade away now, right? I don't feel like it's relevant to me, but I don't... don't yeah, this is the same, this is the same. Regretted... Inheritance... Yeah, this is all the same as what Ryotaro's, um good ending was about, so... He's gonna start fitting away. Let's go on ahead. Oh wait, no. This, this is a door you're able to open. I'm sure something's important for you here. To you here. And if you're telling me that, then where should my wish to assess my existence go? Oh, so he doesn't fade away. Oh. I thought so. It wouldn't make sense for him to fade away and usually not fade away. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wait, do I keep talking to him? My duty's done. So why didn't they fade away? Why didn't he fade away? He met Uts he met not Utsuro, not Utsuro, Mishiro. Hmm. Okay, here we go. This looks like the final frontier kind of thing. Oh, this is really this is really uh, I'm getting jitty. Oh, we're back here. Okay. Was that Okay, that's odd, okay. So now they're both there. Okay, huh? Hey. Ayato? Why are you here? Because this thought is necessary for granting your wish. Yeah, this is the same stuff. Hello me. Okay. I just want to make sure, active, okay, here we go, now she's here, I thought that would happen. Whoa. Pants, pants. Oh, this mirror world revolves around you, Mishiro, you hold dominion over it. Once a deceased girl wished at Mirror Lake, I wish my life had never even existed. It was a very strong wish, and to fulfill it, the mirror world was created. created. I was made slowly to realize her wish, the other souls were, uh, were just extras drawn into it, because they're all related to Mishiro somehow, you know. She, she should have granted her wish in this world she made, but she wasn't able to fulfill it. 
because she broke before she could. Just as she created this world, she lost everything, including her memories and her wish. So not knowing her promise or who she was, she wanted this world and fell apart. And that's in the, and that's in the past now, a concluded tale. Unable to achieve its goal, this world went on existing, sucking in souls and who died near the lake with strong wishes. That was Utsuro Hinohara, and she's right there. Yes, she wonders this world even now, sister. She rules several, several, several years later, a girl threw herself into the lake. Amazingly, she had the same wish as the world's creator. So that this world would complete its duty, it chose a new soul to, to control it. And so since you carried the same wish, you became the new ruler, usurping the originator. The wish the world sought to grant stayed the same, only one, only the person in the centre of it was replaced. I was made the ruler of this world, yeah this is all the same. The extra riffraff who feel jealousy towards you still see the broken originator as the rightful ruler, okay. And we saw that black girl with the red eyes who was chasing us was Utsuro. That's kind of weird. And maybe though, and, and maybe, broken though she may be, she's personally gotten in your way at times. Even though you successfully broke all the mirrors, even without, without even wasting weeks or months being lost. You shattered all and erased all rem remnants of you f in the form of mirrors containing your past. Having recorded all your actions, I can attest to that. But it's not over just yet. The this boy's soul is absolutely necessary to for the total erasure of your life. Because he's simply too significant to you, yeah, because they're our best friends. Without eradicating his soul, your life can't be fulfilled. Your uh, wish can't be fulfilled. So it's none other than you who unconsciously bound his soul to this world. Such that you can't kill him by your own you could kill him by your own hands. Okay. Yeah, this is the same as before, yeah. Still suffering, huh? Yeah, this is the same as before. Okay, yeah. Cause remember that Ayato got ran over by his mum, Tamaki, which is really sad. That's the thing. Okay. I've overcome a lot of obstacles here, sorry. I've looked into my past and erased it. But is this really the right thing is this really the right thing to just make it so I never existed? Thinking back, it was a boring life. I wouldn't say it was entirely devoid of enjoyment. But if you ask whether I live it the same life again, I'm absolutely refuse, without a doubt. In fact, if I had to say I've come to hate it all, I wish my life had never even existed. Okay, she's repeating what she said. And yet, I learned that my mum and dad gave their best efforts for me, clumsy as they were. And I know there's a person who valued me, going so far as come to this world to encourage me, yeah. Can I make all of that something happen that something that never happens? And that's not all. Seeing Yuzu and Utsuro, I had thought I had a thought. If Utsuro's life had never existed, what would have become of Yuzu's feelings? Desperately turning to black magic, killing herself, and wandering this world for years. Or to finally realise her wish to meet her again. What would have what would become of that? I'll make the choice to grant that wish or not. But I want Usuro to see this out too. Because it's her same wish, and this is in her world I inherited. If only the if only in pieces, learning about Utsuro from the mirrors has fulfilled the mirror's purpose. Ayato and Yuzu are both here. With these two, I'm sure we can get Usuro's memory back. Indeed, maybe a little of it. R really? Sister. Mem. Ori. Listen, Utsuro Hinohara. I need to remember your birth, your death, and the one... You need to remember your birth, your death, and the one who loved you. Uh... Mishiro spoke at length of the things she'd seen and heard in this world. Her mother, Tamaki, her father, Rinzu, and, Hino and the Hinohara family she lived with, Yuzu. She spoke at, Yuzu at Usuro's mirror, all that she knew. Oh, she's back to normal. Oh. I see. I haven't felt in this... I haven't felt this in a long time. U Utsuro! Yuzu, you fool. I told you to forget, forget about me if I died. <laughs> well, I couldn't. Is it you, sister? It is, Ayato. So even you ended up here. Oh. I didn't intend to hand this world over to you. I was thinking... I wasn't... I was even thinking about killing you to forcibly take back control. Even more so, now that I've remembered my wish, I want to erase my mother, my true father, myself. But alas, I've, be I've become indebted. In fact, if you hadn't been here, my mind would have stayed fragmented forever. Do as you like, before I change my mind. Oh, I... my choice is... Oh, oh shit, no! <laughs> oh, you can't! <laughs> Oh shit! I don't know which one to choose. I'll grant my wish. I won't. Oh, obviously I won't grant my wait. Cause she was talking about that wish she was she had at the beginning, right? I'll grant my wish, so I'll kill Ayato. So I won't grant my wish. 
Yeah? I won't do it. I can't. I can't do it anymore. Dad's secret distress, Mum's painful effort, even Rio Taro's unusual concern for me. I can't just make it all be gone. And that's not all. For every mirror I broke, I'll vanish from the lives of the people I knew. And I'll also vanish from Ayato's world. But then what did Ayato die for? What did Tamaki step on the accelerator for? Mm. If it were just me, then fine. But to control the feelings of the people around me, I have no right. That's not my wish anymore. Are you really sure about that? Whatever you think, whatever you know, it won't actually change anything. Are you still giving up on your wish? I am. I see. I, the mirror world, accept abandoning the wish. Its reason for being ends here. Huh? This world can vanish when the ruler's wish is granted, or they abandon it with, with clear intent. It won't be left up in the air like with Utsuro. So will everyone here vanish? Except for you, Mashiro. To get straight to the point, you're not dead yet. Yeah, same as before. Your soul has left your body. Of course, your body isn't actually dead. But what's going to happen this time? That's why I'm... Okay. Oh, shut up. I'm sorry. You drowned yourself, but as it happens, a passerby found you. They called, they called They called. it in right away, and though unconscious, you were saved. It was a failed attempt. Okay. Yeah, it's the same as before. The memories won't come into your return. Maybe you'll remember talking with me a bit, but things like meeting me at the lake. Are you still prepared to leave this place? Can you live in a world where you've given up on living and once before? I'll live, because I'm not dead yet. I don't want to throw away the life you protected, Ayato. And by discarding the wish I inherited from Utsuro, I think I'll, uh, it'll honor Yuzu's feeling. That's a relief, then. I absolutely can't understand my sister's wish, but you've made the choice for her. It might sound sort of trite, but I want you to live my sister's share. I want you to prove that giving up, th giving up that wish was the right thing to do. Smile for my sister. That's my dream, too. I'll try my best. There are people who value you. There are people who'd be sad about your death. It's maybe a bit warped, admittedly, but I'm one of them. The world's not that much of a disappointment, you see. So I've done my best to encourage you. You're really some something, you know. You've really picked yourself back up. You went and you went and learned not only your own wish, but mine, Yuzu's, and Utsuro's. Old Rio Taro won't say much more. Try to, old, old Rio Taro won't say much more. Try to get along with Sis when you get back. Right, I'll try to face with her. Thank you, Mashiro. Because of you, I could get my memories back, memories and my wish. I learned about Utsuro's birth and death, and got to talk with her once more. I'm satisfied now, I really am. Maybe returning to life won't mean happy things all the time, Mashiro. But I'm sure you can get up and walk again, since you've saved so many people here. Mashiro, leave incense or something at my grave. Think of it as like saying hi. Yeah, same as before too. Okay, I'll be sure to find your grave. I lost something from the moment I broke, I suppose. I won't pull any mischief, I can accept this result, though I can't say I'm entirely satisfied. Ayato who adored me as a sister, and Yuzu who needed me in her life. I'm glad for the fact that I could talk with the two of them one last time. Yet I'll fade away with resenting that, that man Rinzu, that woman Tamaki. Surely I can be forgiven for that? That's true. Sorry for taking over your world. Sheesh. Sheesh. Seven years, and it ends like this. As long as the rule is satisfied, I suppose. Will Zero go to heaven too? Not sure about heaven or hell, but she'll be free from this world to go to where she goes. That's good. I say I say ruler, but you're more of an usuper, technically. I don't know what that means. Us us usuper? Usuper? Usuper, technically. Mashira. Once you get back and things settle down, you should visit my atelier. It's not complete, of course, but I want you, I want you to see the painting you modelled for someday. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. I'm a little scared about how much I'll forget, but I won't lose my time in this world, and I won't ever, and I won't ever wish to erase the events to come. It's time to go. Okay. <sighs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh man. After that, I regain consciousness in the hospital bed. Apparently, I really have been saved, and my soul returns safely from the mirror world. My mother was there, looking at me in a way I felt she hadn't in years. Mishiro, you're awake? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. If I'd lost you too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I drove you to do this, didn't I? Aww. My mother was shocked by my suicide attempt and apologized for her harsh discipline. My head felt very hazy. I only remembered that she was my mother, who became very strict at some point. It took a lot to just recognize that was real. And as, as I thought about it, fear and unease toward my mother came up from the gaps in my memory. But, it's okay. 
Ryotaro told me about the pressure on their soys and had a death tax on my mother's mind. And then I was able to accept that it was easy to hold my mother's hand. Ah. My brain had suffered memories loss, memory loss, and I could no longer remember the past events, many past events. I remembered Ayato was someone important to me, but I had no com concrete memories of him. They were, they were related to Ayato and um, Mashiro. But I distinctly remembered talking in the mirror world, and felt considerable warmth from that alone. I clearly remembered Yuzu and Ryotaro too. I'd probably only meet them in the mirror world. Oh, we're back here. Mishiro Usui, is it? Hello, I'm Siichi Hinohara. Okay, is this the same as a four? A few days after I left the hospital, a man came to visit me. His last name sounded familiar. Could you be Ayato's... Yes, thank you for getting along with Ayato. Seiichi Hinohara was Ayato's father, which meant he was the one who married Tamaki, and he was the one who Utsuro grew up with. I'm not sure if I should say anything, if I, sh if I should be saying this, but I'm really glad you regained consciousness. The driver who sped towards you and Ayato, she's no longer with us. Her body was found at Mirror Lake, in a car that went up into flames. He meant Tamaki, his wife. But from Seiichi's perspective, it would be impossible for me to know Tamaki. I felt it would be better to stay silent than confuse him with unnecessary remarks. Mm. She was my wife. We, did we met each other at school. She was a humble, art-loving, somewhat naive woman with a radiant smile. Her final sin came to the end of a long sorrow, but I won't ask you to forgive her. So if it's alright, could you visit Ayato's grave sometime? Of course. Not only Ayato, but Utsuro and Tamaki. Nah, maybe I could offer them prayers. Oh, so they're not. she's not going to live with him. Okay. Oh. 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 Oh, the painting, yeah. It feels very nostalgic. I'll look at Ayato's painting. Oh. The old fire extinguisher can be taken away. Oh. The teddy bear memento of Itsuro is in Mishiro's room now. Okay. Bottles of an unfamiliar substance. These materials will probably be, never be used again. Art supplies of wooden box. Okay, yeah. So we're going to look at the painting, right? Look at the canvas. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. The drab shelves are full of surprise materials. Yeah, okay. Anything else? Photo albums and paintings. Okay, we'll look at we'll look at the. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I wonder what it is. It might sound sort of trite, but I want you to live live with my sister's share. I want you to prove that giving up that wish was the right thing to do. Smile for my sister. That's my dream too. Ah. Ah. Ayato Hinohara, blank dream. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's the painting. Oh. That's so adorable, Ayato. It's... Oh, it's not a dream anymore. There you go. <laughs> that was so good! Oh man. I don't know what to say. That was so heartwarming. Oh man. Like when you saw that that painting, that's the painting that Ayato drew and it was her smiling and it looked so cute. And she was crying afterwards. It's just oh man. Oh, this is such a nice game, yeah. Like it's it was more than just the gameplay. It was a very good horror game, I mean. Like, all the scares, you know, gave me goosebumps. It was the, it was a type of horror game that made you feel scared, even though there was nothing there to be scared at. And that's so important in a horror game. That's so good. And the story, oh, the story was so juicy and full of moments that made you cry, made you laugh, made you sad, you know. Just, oh, it's so, it's, it's such a good game. Oh, man. All the endings, two different endings, they are all good. This one, obviously, the best ending, by far the best ending, you know, obviously. Uh, it's, it's, it's awesome, you know. It's good music, too. Good, good ending music. It's, oh, God. There's nothing more else to say. This is a fantastic game. I'm really happy I decided to make a Let's Play on this. Just enjoy the music, guys. I'm going to. I mean... There's nothing more. Yeah, thank you so much, Teriyaki Tomato. That was. Well, this has been a fantastic experience. 
that's definitely going to be a game I'm going to remember with my YouTube career, you know. Definitely one of the highlights so far, obviously. But definitely, definitely my favourite RPG horror game so far. For now as well. If they, unless they make another really good one. But this is, this, in my opinion, is better than Witcher's House. The way its story, you know, has, you know, related to the characters and such like that. Yeah, I'll shut up. I've always wanted to go from one of her, ex to one of her exhibitions. Sure enough, she carries the blood of the mad genius Rinzu Usui. I thought that I saw the Rinzu touch too at first, but she's self-taught. It's totally different from Rinzu's art. Oh. Huh? I suppose so. How unusual. In her twenties and climbing so high of her own style. She's not just riding off of her ancestor. Rinzu was realistic, while she's more impressionist. That's true. I did feel Mirror World was too unusually abstract to be Rinzu's style. Seeing as, seeing as believing, you can tell the unique mood in her art from the glance. True, true, now I'm really excited to see it. Her famous masterpiece of all, her. Oh. Ending one, blank dream. Her fantasy to live in a dream within a white, within white canvas. There you go. There you go, guys. That's it. That's blank dream. That's the end. That's everything. That's all five endings. Oh, this has been such a good game. Oh, man. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. This is definitely by far one of the most emotional connecting games I've played in my life. You know, not just YouTube, you know. Oh, man, I'm so happy I did a YouTube series on this, you know. It's also one of the reasons why I do YouTube. If I played this... You know, without not commenting, just playing it myself. Yeah, it would affect me, but being able to share it with you guys, it made it more intense, you know? It made it made it mean more than just me playing a game and getting up and crying over it and stuff, you know? That's why I love YouTube. That's why I love playing games like these, these fantastic RPG horror games. Thank you, Teriyaki Tomato. Fantastic game. Blank Dream. Top of the list. 10 out of 10 IGN. 10 out of 10 Gamma Fox rating. Okay, cool. Thank you so much for watching, and as usual, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, guys.